what is going on everybody ladies and gentlemen simply pops here and today i'm going to be unboxing the pataka flipbook case for the ipad the flipbook is going to be replacing your typical laptop pouch or your tablet pouch you guys are familiar with one of these you take your ipad you put it in the sleeve and you're good to go and then maybe if you have your iphone your keys or anything else you can stuff it into the pouch or stuff it into a different compartment but sometimes it can get a little tight to take out the ipad and then now you gotta have this out and you might potentially lose this it's a pain in the neck sometimes not to say that this system is terrible it can be annoying sometimes that's where the flipbook case comes into play. So Pataka is killing the game right now. So going over the back of the box, you have easy fold and open minimalistic design or style. And it holds small essentials such as your keys, your phone, and has premium carbon cloth. All right, so let's open this up and let's see what's in the box. Now this is gonna run you $89, a pretty penny but we gotta go over if it's worth it or not. Okay, Pataka Brandon, dead smack in the middle. And this is what I'm talking about. Quality presentation, magnetic flap on the top. Pataka doing it big. And of course you have your thank you. Thank you for purchasing the flip book case for the iPad or for iPad. Mm, that leather smell hits you right in the mouth. And you're presented with the flip book case itself. Now, yes, it looks weird as you can see. And I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to install it in a little bit, but they give me give you the installation process in the back of the paper here. But I already know how to do it. And if you scan this code, you have a video instruction. It looks different, but it attached right to the magic keyboard. Now it goes without saying you're gonna need a magic keyboard in order for this to work. Um, otherwise it, it's not going to work for you. Ooh, it feels good. You have this zipper so you can be able to store your, your phone, your wallet, your keys. This isn't available just yet for the 11 inch iPad pro or even the iPad air because the iPad air and the iPad pro 11 inch is going to fit the same exact magic keyboard here. And boom, I have the Pataka mag case for the iPad just here. So unfortunately, it is not yet available, but keep on checking the website. Or matter of fact, I'm gonna update you guys in the pinned comment. So I have my 12.9 inch iPad Pro, and I have the white, and that's another thing too. They also have a white flip book case uh, to match with the white Magic Keyboard, but unfortunately, that's not yet available as well. And that goes for both the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch. The white color isn't available just yet. So now we're gonna have to have a different style so now let me show you guys how to install this real simple I highly recommend you wipe the magic keyboard because you are using adhesive now we're gonna be voiding this warranty now this is gonna be covering the camera and if you need it you could flap it back and it's gonna hold it into place I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit you want to get the magic keyboard the iPad doesn't have to be installed but you want to align it with the line before the hinge and you want to press it down so you don't have to worry about it flowing off if you guys want to see an update video maybe i might do one maybe not it would have been cool if pataka used uh madnix or you know if they use like some kind of magnet but now if you flip the ipad around this little flap here not the flap but this uh <laughs> what you call it? this little piece here you want to make sure it's aligned towards the bottom okay you also have, if you look at it very closely, you can see Design by Pataka. So very premium and attention to details here. Um, just to the point of the, the end point of the Magic Keyboard. And then you align this perfectly fine. And that's it. That's it. So this is how it looks. So I'm going with a Stormtrooper look. It looks a little goofy, but if you have the black Magic Keyboard case, you should be just fine. All right, so that's what that divider part was for. Um, you could be able to have the balance, so it keeps the iPad balanced. So on the bottom, it's like the rubber feet. So you see the rubber feet? Now it just keeps it balanced. So now you have your iPad, and then whenever you're ready to go, and you have the handle, and you're good to go. 
This is sick. Oh, thumbnail pick. Thumbnail pick. This will be a good thumbnail pick. The moment of truth is the zipper right here. This is going to be replacing your tablet bag. So now I'm going to get some items actually. So first things first, you can't leave the house without a charger. And I have a lightning to type C that could fit in there just fine. And one thing I noticed, you could tell you could store a lot of things because you have this elastic. So it could be able to, um, depending on how many items you have, it can, um, you know, has room to actually expand. Have an iPhone. I'm actually using my iPhone 13 as an overhead right now. I desperately need another Sony A7S III or A7 IV. Shout out to all my camera heads out there. I definitely need another professional camera. iPhone SE fits like a glove right in there. Um, if you have the 13 Max, results may vary. And then normally I have the MagSafe wallet. This is my wallet that I take with me every day. I attach it right there on the back of my iPhone. So we may as well put it in there too as well. We're gonna need a charging brick. Now typically I'll bring a smaller brick, but uh, most of you guys probably have the official Apple 20 watt power adapter. So that's why I decided to put that in there. And already, we already bulking up. And that was, <laughs> and that's basically it. Um, so at this point, Oh, we could still zip up, but it's gonna be a big lump right there. So I'm actually gonna get a smaller brick. It's hard to believe that this is still a 20 watt power adapter, but just so much smaller. Still gonna lump up, but you're still gonna have more room to put your AirPods Pro. I'm actually gonna take this out the case. So yes, I still have my AirPods Pro. I really don't like the AirPods Pro too much. They don't fit my ears, but I, I kept it just cause. And yeah, <laughs> so you see this big lump there, the charger is gonna be a problem, but nonetheless, you can still store your belongings right on the iPad, and then you can still be able to get some work done. So this is a really unique setup. So I could be able to open up my iPad and still have all my essentials on the back, and then when I'm, whenever I'm ready, and oh yeah, Apple Pencil is gonna work just fine. Uh, whenever I'm ready, I could close it, I have the handle, and I'm ready to go. This is, yeah, this is not coming off my iPad no time soon. Until they come out with a white one, maybe I might upgrade and get that one. I gotta see how the availability is looking like. If you're waiting for the 11 inch model, I think this is something that you might wanna take in consideration, especially if you travel with your iPad a lot. And then whenever I'm done, I close it. I have the two handles. The two handles can be able to attach magnetically and you're good. And the Apple Pencil is still can be able to attach on the top. This is pretty sick. In terms of the camera, it's covered and protected. I rarely use the rear cameras on my iPad. You just pull the flat back, attach magnetically, and you're good to go. And you can be able to utilize your iPad's camera. And then when you're done, you put it back. Pataka definitely knocked it out of the park on this one. And of course, it goes without saying, it's gonna add a little bit more weight to the iPad. Not only have some accessories in here, you have the Magic Keyboard, and then the 12.9 inch in particular is heavy. So this is pretty hefty, but it's not too heavy to the point where it's hurting your hand. Yo, this is sick, man. Oh, this is sick. Look at that. Look at this, man. You open up your iPad, and then when you're done, you close it, you have all your stuff. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed or found this one helpful. If it did, I'd appreciate it with a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter at Simply Pops. Click on that beautiful red subscribe button. Help me reach the 200,000 subscribers. We're getting close. We're not exactly there yet, but we're getting close. Until next time, guys, have a simple day. Peace.